So Tim Scott is no longer running for president. CNN politics, Republican Senator Tim Scott suspends his presidential campaign. I think, I think anybody with two brain cells to rub together saw this one coming, especially after the uh, GOP debates on what was, it was last week, was it last Monday? Last Wednesday? I don't remember. It's been, uh, yeah, uh, this, not this past Friday, but the Friday before that. So just over a week ago, uh, I quit smoking. Uh, I quit vaping. I, I quit nicotine altogether, cold turkey. So the last couple of weeks, uh, since I haven't been making videos, that's why I haven't been making videos. Um, because I quit all of that. And it was really hard for me to sit still without nicotine. Still. Uh, but it's it's not as bad as it was. Uh, so, you know, I'm I'm having a bit of trouble with uh, the last two weeks' memory as far as when things happened. But I know within the last two weeks there was a third Republican debate, and Tim Scott was the man of no answers to answer every question on the stage. I, I do remember that. So if you watched that debate as well, you would not be surprised to learn that Tim Scott has dropped out. Um, his, his performance so far in the polls, I think he always was like right there at the, the minimum required to be on the stage. Uh, but honestly, I'm surprised. I, I thought that, uh, Chris Christie was going to be the first one to go. But I think that was Mike Pence, right? Mike Pence was the first one to drop out. I was surprised by that. I thought it would be Chris Christie. Um, but Mike, Mike Pence, he dropped out first. Um, Chris Christie's still there as far as, as, far as I know. Uh, Tim Scott's out. Um, uh, Vivek is still in. Nikki Haley somehow is still in. Uh, oh yeah, and Ron DeSantis, he's still there. I think Ron DeSantis is going to be dropping out here real soon. Um, I don't think. I don't think that he. I don't even think if, if there is another debate, I don't know how many more debates. I thought, I think they were just doing three. Um, yeah, I don't think he's going to, if the, he's not, he, Ron DeSantis is not going to make it to the next phase of the primary season. Uh, he's just not. Um, and if he if he does squeak by, he's not going to make it out of out of primary season intact. That's for sure. Um, at this point, unless unless something catastrophic happens to Donald T Donald Trump, I'm pretty sure that Donald Trump is going to be the Republican presidential nominee. Um, if it's, if that doesn't happen, then you have, it's basically going to go one of two ways, right? It's either going to go Vivek or it's going to go Nikki Haley. Those are the only two, those are the only two ways that I can see this shaking out. Uh, it's not going to end up going well at all for Ron DeSantis. He's basic, he's done. He's, he's, he's done. Um, and you know, Tim Scott, he, again, he's, he's done as of today. So yeah, let's see what, uh, Tim Scott has to say. Uh, probably not a whole lot, uh, given his performance. 
Uh, Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina is suspending his presidential campaign. He announced in an interview with Fox News on Sunday. I love America more than I did on May 22nd. But when I go back to Iowa, it will not be as a presidential candidate. I am suspending my campaign, he said. Uh, he was barely a presidential candidate to begin with. And the announcement Sunday night took many of Scott's aides and donors by surprise, of which there was three. Uh, two people close to his campaign, which is everybody that was his donor or an aide, evidently, uh, said they were not given advance notice, even though it was becoming increasingly clear Scott was facing an uphill struggle to break through the GOP primary. That is an understatement. The Super PAC supporting Scott pulled its slate of television ads in October and, following last week's third GOP presidential debate, decided not to make a new investment. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, Scott's presidential prospects dim over the last several weeks, beginning with the Super PAC's decision to pull ads last month the Scott campaign said it was going to it was going all in on Iowa in an effort to gain on his primary rivals by targeting the first by targeting the first nominating contest on the GOP calendar. Ah. Uh, Scott kept the decision to exit the race close to his vest. People linked to his campaign said, but the timing was more surprising than the announcement himself or the announcement itself, his team his team had been worried about qualifying for the fourth Republican debate next month after being the last candidate to meet the donor and pulling thresholds to make last week's debate. He had been hoping a strong debate performance would jumpstart his candidacy, but even he conceded to advisors and allies that didn't happen. No, his debate performance was absolutely awful. By leaving the race now, people close to his campaign and uh, people close to his campaign said he can return to the Senate without an embarrassing finish in Iowa. Uh, he preserves the possibility of a future political run. No, nope, his entire political career is dead now uh, and leaves without getting in the crosshairs of Donald Trump should the former president become the nominee. Uh, at this point, uh, Donald Trump being the nominee for the Republican Party is almost a guarantee. Uh, Donald Trump, it's, it's not even a, a, a run at this point. Uh, Donald Trump's uh, favorability with Republicans is like 56%, and everybody else is not even breaking 10 so yeah, he is, he's got it. Like, unless something happens, and I don't mean in jail, because he will do what he can to run from jail and people will still vote for him if he's in jail. Maybe more people will vote for him if he's in jail. Uh, I'm thinking more of the final solution kind of tragedy. Uh, he will get that nominee. The article continues, Tim ran an optimistic, hopeful message, but that's not where the Republican base is right now. A GOP official who supported Scott told CNN, I don't know what they mean by that, but okay. Scott told Fox News, uh, Ted Gowdy, that he will not back another Republican candidate, saying he believes the best way for me to be helpful is to withhold an endorsement in the primary. Except for that is not what you pledged to do when you signed that paper. You signed a paper saying that you would... Uh, pledge whoever the Republican nominee is in the primary. So you do kind of have to do that. Well, I, no, you don't if, if you're dropping out, really. Um, but that just means that you're a little bitch and you have no convictions. So, uh, But that is also how he ran his entire campaign. So there you go. Scott said he has no uh, intention of accepting a vice presidential nomination reaffirming a position he repeated frequently on the campaign trail. Well, you're just ending all semblance of a political career at that point. You're saying that if, if Donald Trump off, offered him a vice presidency spot, he would say no? 
that stupid. But okay. Uh, people, I guess it's a zero sum game for some people, right? Uh, I ran for president to be president, he said. I think I was called to run. You ran for president to get your dick stomped on, and you succeeded. But you did not run for president to be president. If you're running for president to be president, you would not have dropped out at 3%. Uh, prominent Scott donor and metal uh, mogul Andy Sabin told CNN he's disappointed but not surprised that the senator decided to to step aside and said he now plans to back former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley in the GOP primary. I uh, don't know why you would do that, but okay. So the Republican primary looks like it's shaping up to be even more of a shit show than it has been recently. So I don't I don't know if it's going to get any more interesting. A lot of shots were taken on the debate stage uh, last week, so that could be fun. But really, I don't think um, I don't think that people's positions in the polls are really going to shift that much. Uh, Chris Christie is still dead last, and he's going to continue to be dead last. Um, Vivek Ramaswamy is ahead of Nikki Haley. I haven't looked at the polls. I'm just going off of debate performance. Um, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe, uh, the poll reporting is reporting something else. But, uh, I believe Vivek would be the number two spot behind Donald Trump followed by Ron DeSantis, and then followed by Nikki Haley. Uh, I believe that is the order in which that they uh, should be following, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that is going to continue. Uh, I think after the next debate, or even before, I think even before the next debate, we're going to see one more candidate drop out. I don't believe it's going to be Chris Christie, uh, but he should drop out. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Ron DeSantis. Uh, I'm making that prediction right now. I think Ron DeSantis is going to drop out either right before the next debate or shortly after the next debate. It's going to be going to be right there in in, in that window. Uh, I would say uh, plus or minus three days from the debate, DeSantis is going to more than likely drop out of, of this race. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. I will see you in the next video.